Hi everybody, it's David and Huey. We are a married couple from Toronto, Canada. So today we want to make a video because a lot of time when you guys made your coming out or things we hear here and there, people say it's unnatural to be gay. And it's actually not true because in the, in the animal kingdom, there is a lot of homosexuality. Yeah, and these are actually uh, scientific proof, actually, from researchers who's been studying the animal kingdom for a long, long time. So this is not something that's just made up. This is science, guys. Science. So, interesting fact. Actually, no species have ever been found without uh, some sort of homosexuality within the species except for those who do not engage in sexual activity at all like asexual animals or uh, example the, the sea urchins mm -hmm. so one of the common example is the lions so they often pairs up together with a band of brothers and to strengthen their loyalty and bond uh, they engage into homosexual sex Hashtag bromance <laughs> Bromance uh, One of the most well-known example of, of homosexuality in animals is the dwarf chimpanzee <laughs> Which is actually one of our closest relatives um, to human beings and it is well known that uh, the entire species is actually bisexual and uh, sex is sort of like something that happens every day to resolve conflict like you know like instead of getting into fights they engage in sexual activity um, mostly oral sex isn't that interesting? yeah that's how sex. I solve my problems too <laughs> right <laughs> So another common example of homosexuality in the animal kingdom is dolphins and killer whales. So basically they're saying that um, their male couples will last often longer than a heterosexual couple or a lesbian couple. So it's a very particular um, situation for that species. Um, also they have sex in between species of dolphins and killer whale. So often when it could explode into a conflict of violence, they solve it with the sex again. So young male giraffes has been known to engage in sexual encounters with other male giraffes prior to mating with female. And uh, scientists believe that the reason why is that they want to familiarize themselves with the sexual activity before they actually encounter females so they'd be more confident I guess or know what to do exactly so try it on the bros before you go try it on the gals <laughs> again hashtag bromance <laughs> yeah so see bromance is a big thing in the animal kingdom and also they say there's a lot of tongue kissing and massaging between male giraffes human take note so again, a case that might feel closer to you guys uh, because those are really common domestic animals, the cats and the dogs. But, but in their case, it's only after they got neutered that they noticed the male tend to have homosexual sex. Uh, but there, in this case, it's more like an S&M dominance kind of thing. So it's more because they want to prove that they're dominant, that they will try on the same sex. And funny that most of the time it's the smaller dog that's trying to dominate other large dogs. Have you noticed that? No, I've never noticed. It's like a little that. chihuahua trying to like to hump a, a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> so according to researchers, female koalas love to engage in uh, lesbian sex. Rejecting all the male suitors just so they could mate with each other. Uh, often up to five at a time. Koala or G. Also for uh, the pandas, the 
The panda are actually deciding their sexuality very early uh, within the first year. Depending if they spend more time with males or females, uh, it, basically this is what gonna make them tend to have sexual relationship with males or females. Uh, once this is decided, they would never go back to uh, a heterosexual relationship. They would keep having a homosexual relationship with a male. All of you guys know that it's really hard to reproduce for the pandas. So can you imagine trying to mate two pandas and they discover one of them is gay? There's a lot more examples of homosexuality and bisexuality in the animal kingdom. Yeah, there is birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and other invertebrates. Yeah, and the point we're trying to make is it is very natural, homosexuality. So if anyone ever tell you otherwise, you can, you know, just give them some of these examples. Exactly. It is not an invention of men because it's present in nature all the time, since forever. Same with the humanity. It's been there forever.